Okay. I will explain. This type of questions, when examiner wrote net book value, opening balance and closing balance, and asked you to calculate depreciation charge, we have to use the trick. The trick is called T account of net book value. The T account of net book value is the trick to find out depreciation if opening and closing net book value of non-current asset is given. The format of this account is BD. Asset BD is debit. Asset CD must be on credit. Am I right? If you bought or purchase any asset, any non-current asset, it will be on debit side. If you dispose of any non-current asset, this is the account of net book value. So we will not write here the cost. We will write net book value. What we should write? Book value. And at last here, depreciation expense will arise. And this depreciation expense should be our balancing figure. This trick, this account, this method, we are going to use. Yes, sir. Yes. So the disposal, will it be the receipt from disposals or loss on disposal? No, 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 no. This I will explain. This trick, when, first of all, make our minds clear that when we are using this format, when we do have net book values given in the question you got my point first that when we have to use this format got it yeah okay okay now second thing now we will start putting the things in the format this is the account of net book value of uh non-current asset it can be machine equipment anything tell me the opening balance of net book value which is first of january 16, right? How much? Uh, 20,000. Okay. The CD balance, 31st December, 16. How much? 18,000. Am I clear? Yeah. Then we bought any purchase of purchase of non-current asset how much uh, 9700 disposal can be here and what we need is depreciation expense which is x disposal what i wrote in the format what we need what we need depreciation expense but if I am going to write disposal here, which I highlighted, what I write in disposal? Here I need net book value of an asset which I disposed of. Am I right? Because this is the yeah. account of net book values, right? Yeah. So how to find out the net book value? We know cost less accumulated depreciation is net book value. Right or wrong? Yeah. And then selling price and then gain or loss on disposal we have this format remember yeah receipt. receipt is what the money we received am i right selling price of an asset three thousand five hundred okay, sense. loss on disposal how much Is it six? Uh, six fifty. Yeah. So, are you able to tell me the net book value? This is the loss. Net book value should be higher than selling price or lower. When we have loss, the selling price is lower. And be higher. And be higher. This is what we learned. No, if my net book value, yeah. my value of an asset is higher, and I. I'm able to sell it for low price is a loss. So what is my net book value?
it's how much? Forty-one fifty. Four one five zero, and here I need the disposal which I sold net book value of an asset which I disposed of. So now, on debit side, do I have any balancing figure or any X? No, right? So I can easily add up the debit side or no. What should be the total of my debit side? Twenty nine thousand seven hundred. Check please. Yeah. Debit side must be equals to the credit side. Am I clear? Yes. So simple maths. If I ask you, Mustafa, that four one five zero plus X plus eighteen thousand is equals to twenty nine thousand seven hundred. So by using simple maths, the plus will go to opposite side. It will deduct. What will be my x? What will be my depreciation? Can you tell me? Are you able to calculate? Ah, uh, seven thousand five hundred fifty. Seven thousand five hundred and fifty. You mean to say that? Yeah. Option C, you mean? Yes. Just look at it. What I did. Any questions? Any confusion coming in your mind? This is the trick we learned first time with this past paper. This trick can only be used if net book value opening and closing balance is being given by the examiner. Otherwise, we will not use this trick. Got it?